It was World War II and the war was raging on. At the time, Royal Naval Air Station Bursko was operational, 1943 to 1946. Local people in the local villages round about were used to sat the sound of aircraft overhead day and night. And Sunday morning was going to be exactly the same, but it turned out to be a day like no other. 1771, Royal Naval Air Squadron Bursko had the 35 fly type aircraft that we see here today, an example of. Some of the squadron on that day were carrying out a camera attack exercise at around about 3,000 feet. Two of the air crew that day were Sub-Lieutenant Morris Walton Williams and Sub-Lieutenant Graham Sunderland. They were both aged 22. During a tight turn, their aircraft that was registered Z1906 was seen to go in a tight spin from which it failed to recover. It struck the ground, bursting into flames with the flares going off, etc. Between the villages of Rufford and Holmeswood in Lancashire, both of the air crew were killed instantly. Local people tried to help on the day. Some came out of the church in Holmeswood, but they could not get near because the flares were going off and the explosions. Both of the air crew are buried at St John's Parish Church in Burstville. What follows next is a short film featuring George Rimmer, a long-standing Rufford and Holmeswood resident, and back then he was a young lad living in Holmeswood. He witnessed the accident and what he does, he tells us of what he remembers on that sad day. Thank you. What, what's your name? George Rimmer. George Just Rimmer. Simple dude. Yeah, that's well, I'm a twin. <laughs> and what was your date of birth? Then? 8, 6, 35. 1935, yeah. And where, when you were a lad, where did you live when you were a lad? Sandy Way Holmes Road. Sandy Way Holmes Road. So that's, that's probably the, 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 it was a separate village to Rufford, wasn't it, then, Holmes yeah. Road, probably? Yeah. And that sort of stuff, yeah. We got moved around because we, we lived on, my father was uh, belonging to a farming family, you know. Yeah, yeah. We was at Mount Farm, and then we was at, we finished up at Ber Berry House, Old Berry House, oh, yeah. the big house there. Yeah. It, you know, there's 11 of us, so we, we filled it. <laughs> so it wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't their farm, they just moved around with well, the, the churches owned all the farms around the uh, and eventually like they sold them off to yeah. different people, you know. Yeah, yeah. But it was while it was church owned. Yeah, because a lot of the, uh, a lot of the land around here was owned by the Hescus, wasn't it? Yeah. As well. Well, there was the Scaresbrook and the Hescus, wasn't there? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, so, and what, what, your mum and dad, wasn't it? What, what were their names, mum and dad? Lachlan. Her maiden name. Yeah. Scottish, yeah. Was it, yeah. yeah. And what were, the, what were their names? It, it was Gladys McLaughlin. Oh, right. And the dad's name? Robert Eaton Rimmer. Rob, Robert, yeah. Right, right, okay. And did you have any brothers or sisters, George? Yeah, four and four. Was it, yeah? Yeah. Four brothers and four sisters. Oh, mm -hmm. crikey, that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And did you. Did you all fit in the house, did you? Did you all have So when we went to bed, did, we, what, did they call it toes and head or something like that? Because it was just something like that. <laughs> oh, crikey, yeah. So it must have been, it was, it was, it was probably quite, I mean, nowadays you've got the modern machinery, you've got the computerised tractors with the satellite navigation yeah. thing. I suppose farming in them days was a, was a different thing. Was it, were they using horses and stuff like that? Yes, that's right, yeah. There's ploughs and It's that. just a changeover, it just depends when you're talking about. Oh, yeah. What, what, what year was you talking so about? So, yeah, you got the tractors coming in, did you? The yeah, early tractors right. and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. I remember Bill Allen, who had the farm at Gornham's Farm up Sandy Way. Oh, yeah. Me and Evan both worked there. And he bought an Alice Chalmers, which was an ancient American tractor, where he had to lift the maintenance underneath it and oh. loop them on. And, and Ferguson had brought a three-point linkage rear tra tractor at just the time, an absolutely brilliant machine, you know. 
and the farm went and got the Ellis Chimes instead of, instead of the Ferguson. We didn't go down well. <laughs> Crikey, yeah, yeah. So, so there's, there's probably quite a big. Was there much in Holmeswood Village at that time? Was it? Was it like? Uh, was it? I mean, did it used to have it's not, it? hasn't got a shop now. It hasn't got a hasn't got a pub. It had, the shop was called Humphreys uh, in the middle of Holmes Road by the chapel. Was it? Yeah. And then at Moss End, where we lived, the other end of Holmes Road. Oh, was it? Mrs. Moss had a shop there. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. Was it? Was, was it ever a post office in Holmes Road? Was it? At all. Holmeswood, the shop in Holmeswood had the post office. Oh, did it? Yeah. No, the, before that, earlier on, it was uh, in the middle of Holmes Road. Yeah. There was a big white house and the Lyons, Bill Lyon lived there, and that, that there was the post office. Oh, really? Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know. But that's going back some time now. And I see there's a road called Smithy Lane, isn't there? Yeah, Smithy Lane. Is. So pre presumably the, the, there was a Smithy down there, wasn't there? There was in the, the end of it, yeah. And that's all. But it never, Holmes would never, as far as you remember, it never had a pub or anything down there, no? No, it had loads of uh, private pubs. Oh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> that's right, yeah. So where was a big night out? Rufford was it, or Bursco, if you Yeah, Rufford, really, the Eskis and the yeah. Firmer Arms, you know. Oh, the Firmer Arms, that's right, yeah. Yeah, so... You had like a, was it more like at one stage you had a small holding, did you, did you say? Was it well, when, when they come out of the war, the army got first choice of, I think I'm right in saying this, right. and my dad would kept getting these farms and being farm bailed or something, he was fed up of it, yeah. so he was chance to have a small holding oh, yeah. of his own, that, uh, yeah. and he took, took that opportunity. Oh, was it, yeah? Yeah. And oh, right, yeah. Well, that, that's, that's, yeah, that's a... Uh, I know there's a house, um, as you're going down Tootle Lane, there's those little group of houses that like, look like you know, council houses on the right, you know. Yeah. And the end one has got quite a long plot on it. Yeah. And I believe that was for a soldier coming out of the war, so yeah. that they could... Mm. That, that, that was good, that wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so what, what school did you go... What was your first school you went to? Hornswood Methodist. Oh, that, 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 that's still there now? Yeah, yeah same one. Did you all go there, all the families, was it, yeah? Yes. Crikey. But I was the first lot. In actual fact, I went to Ormskirk when they started sending them to secondary moderns and that. Yeah. I went like a year late because it changed over at that time, you know. Right. So I was, what would I be? Did he went, I think he changed over to 11, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. So I'd be 12 years old probably when I went to right. Ormskirk. Good, um. <laughs> With all the others, you know. yeah. So just getting on to the um, the actual instance. So in the twenty eighth of May, nineteen forty four, the fleet air arm Royal Navy thirty five fly Z one nine oh six was a registration of seventeen seventy one squadron was returning from a training exercise over here with some of the other aircraft. What were you doing on the morning? Of, uh, that this accident happened, do you remember? Well, it was congregating and getting ready to get there off to Sunday school and that, yeah. you know, and uh, I managed to skive off that. And I, I, I was just playing about in the garden, perfect yeah. at the back of the house, which is like viewing where the site of the crash was, you yeah. know. Yeah. So I was able to see the planes in the sky the plane coming down, you know. Was it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And you seem to you seem to remember there may have been some sort of smoke coming out. I thought, I, I, but I, I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't like to swear on it, you no, know. No, no, that, that's right, yeah. Too right, yeah. And uh, you, you must have been, being a lad at that time, and everyone around here, it must have, you must have been used to the sound and the sight of aircraft coming in all the time. It's a sad thing to say, but it's exciting because everybody was excited because yeah. there was a plane crash or something yeah. like that because they all congregated on it. It's yeah. like a meeting place, you know. It was like when they had an actual car accident on Moss End Corner, which quite often happened. Yeah. The whole corner filled up with the local people, you know. Mm. That's how it used to be. Mm. Yeah, was, it, was there a lot of... Uh, you must, you must have been used to the sound of aircraft and looking up at the sky because with, with ringtail going at Burst, there must have been a lot of aircraft coming over at that time. 
wasn't it? You know, for, for all those years because yeah. it was. Um, but did something sound a bit different about this particular aircraft on the day? Do you think? Did it have? Did did it look like it was in trouble? Well, it certainly looked like it was in trouble when it started coming down. Yeah. But I didn't sound wise. I can't. I, yeah. Can't tell you anything about that. Yeah. But I mean, in regarding aircraft, we could recognise the German bombers when they were coming up with the drone of them because was it? they were coming to the. Oh yeah, yeah. Good heavens, yeah. yeah. You could hear the drone of them, could you? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. Go, going into Liverpool. My dad. Yeah. We all we was all sent down. To, there's a cellar underneath the house at Holmesbrook. Yeah. And we all had to go down there. Was it? Yeah. And we, we got bombed out from there. Yeah, was it? Yeah. The bomb landed at the end of the field. You know? Was it? Yeah. yeah. And it split the end of the house. Yeah. And there was always a big split at the end of the house. Oh, there was no damage other than that. You know? <laughs> yeah. So when when you saw this aircraft spinning out of control, what did you do there? What did, what was your? I just I just ran. Did you to, to grab hold of my sister's bike? Any bike, anything to get. Yeah. I found my sister's bike. Yeah. So I got on that, which is did you? like a big bike, it was a bit too big for me. You know? But I, I, when I was going past over to the coaches, which wasn't there then, I got my foot fast and then I went over the handlebars. And, so that stopped me. <laughs> that, that hadn't stopped me, it would have been right at the scene. Was it? Yeah. You know, but I, I still got there very, very early. You know. Where did you get to? That stone bridge, was it? Yeah, just past that stone bridge, yeah. And then somebody stopped me and said he can't go any further. Than what was it? So that was by, um, is that about called Sandy Lane, is it? Sandy Lane? Is that Sandy Way or...? The Curlew into that. Is, is that, it? Is yeah. That the Curlew, is it? I think it might be... Where, where it goes down, it comes onto Sandy Way, it goes uh, past Road, uh, doesn't it? Right, yeah. 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 Um, what, what, could you, what could you see from where you were, of, of what had happened? Could you, could you see? I tell you what I could see, I always remember, and somebody might correct me, because I don't like getting things wrong, but I, see, I remember seeing flares like fireworks, like flares going up from the plane, they must have, yeah. must have had flares on it, and these flares were shooting up out of it. Yeah, well that, you're correct there, because on the, um, on the report, it, it, it mentions that. Does it? It <laughs> mentions that uh, it was, there's, there's bomb flares going off, yeah. and it was on fire, no one could get near it. Did, did, did other people had turned up by then? Had the the um, had the fire service no. turned up or anything? Do you think? No, they hadn't. Nobody turned up except the odd person. Was it? Yeah. And I, 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 I might be right. I think it was a policeman. Yeah. A policeman on a bike. There's no vehicles there. You know? Right. So they stopped you going any further. Yeah. And yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. But I was only about hundred yards off it then, or two hundred yards. Probably. Yeah. Um, it must have been quite. Was it? Well, at that age, was it more like excitement rather yeah, than shock? Was that, it? Yeah. Exactly, like I was saying before. Yeah. It was excitement to everybody, you know. Yeah. If it was something crashed or anything, we'd all be on the bikes, all trying to get to the scene. You know? Was it? Yeah. Yeah. I think there's just one or two crashed around about. And do you think the uh, for a few days you couldn't could probably go down there? You, you couldn't get down there because they had it all sealed off. They had to take it away, didn't they? The aircraft. Yeah, they had to come and take it away. Yeah, yeah. but it hadn't gone in. Yeah, it, it wasn't. It wasn't buried in the ground. Yeah, it was like it had crashed and was only just slightly under. Yeah, you no, know. that's right. Well, when, they had, when they had to look for parts of it and everything, you didn't have to go so far. Yeah, you know, it's at the, at the top of the. Side. I remember uh, one the, the the fellow who owns the land around there said that the uh, crops wouldn't grow on it for a number of years. You know. It's only a small area though, and it, it's funny really, where it crashed, there was a ditch going three ways, yeah. like that, and it, it crashed right and right at the side of it. Yeah. So regarding the crops, yeah. I wouldn't have thought. And you, afterwards, did, uh, was it people talking about it in the village, were they, and things like that, yeah? I would assume so, yeah. 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 But yeah. certainly in our family they talked about it, you know, because yeah. I was a hero then, because yeah. All the others were in Sunday school and I had stuff to That's right, yeah. yeah. So I suppose because you'd skived off Sunday school, yeah. the old... My dad weren't so sued, did <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say you weren't well that day or something? <laughs> no, I didn't say anything. You just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, back in, back in November 1995, a, a local... Lancashire aircraft investigation team came out 
and they did like a bit of a, a study and an excavation, didn't they? I was there, yeah. Of a, did you, how did you get to know about that? Did someone let you know or did you no, just... No, I was, I, I was working, I worked out of uh, Freshback Produce, a company called Freshback Produce, oh, yeah. David Gibbons, is, yeah. with, with trucks in there, and I was coming home. Yeah. I was coming home that day. Was it? Yeah. And you saw them out there in the field? Yeah. And you sort of pulled up to us? That's right, and I started talking to them. I think they found a whistle and one or two bits of things. Yeah. He gave me a piece of the windscreen. Yeah. It's just in one of the drawers. Yeah, we'll photograph that before. We'll take a photograph of it. Yeah, I don't know where it is. Oh, it's all right. We'll, know where it is. We'll, we'll get that again. Don't worry about that. Yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah, so that, 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 that was quite interesting. You got, you got, you got to meet them, didn't you, and talk about it. I, I suppose they were quite... From Blackpool, they said they were, didn't you? Is that right? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. I suppose they were quite pleased because to, to be able to speak to someone that yeah. actually saw it, you know. Yeah. And that they must, they must have got the permissions yeah. to do it because it's all been logged and that sort of thing. Yeah, so we, like we were saying, it's going to be quite good because the Rufford Parish Council are having a, a plaque put up yeah. outside the village hall right. to these airmen because, because I think it's only people like you and people who have lived in Rufford for all those years that actually know about it down there. The, the people that are coming into Rufford now, like me, yeah. I never knew anything about this. So it's a, it, it's an important part of heritage, yeah. history as, as part of Rufford, like yeah, that's and right. that sort of thing. Yeah, so that's that, that's going to be quite good. Yeah. What was Holmeswood Village like? You said it had a, it it had two shops, you think, and it had. Um, the school and the post office in the middle of the post post office, the Blacksworth, and and then Holmeswood coaches. Did that come in? Did that come later on? Did it Holmeswood coaches? It was well. There's two people. One was called Mr. Humphreys, yeah, and and, and uh, Mr. Tunks. Oh, they yeah. bought an old Rio coach with long nose, like an American. You see in American films, yeah. yeah. And we were taken to school on that old Rio coach. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they kept it in the garage, in the garage opposite the chapel. Yeah. That's where Mr. Humphreys lived, you know. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah cause it's an old established company, isn't it? Yeah, because we went, we we were up to all kinds of trips, and we went with a load of potatoes. Yeah. And we stuffed all these potatoes up the exhaust pipe of this old Rio thing. <laughs> <laughs> so hoping it wouldn't start in the morning. And, oh, yes. and, and, and at half past eight, uh, along comes the coach and Mr. Humphrey says, there's some boiled potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's that's one of the little pranks you got up to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. One, one day, the policeman used to be in the telephone box for ages. So one day we got some what they call press wire yeah. off bales of straw that he used to press with yeah. wire. We took this press wire because he's there and we wound this press wire because it's like pitch black yeah. and he was in the light and he wouldn't be able to tell what was going on. And we wound all the wire around and then we waited to see when he put the phone down, see him trying to get out of the thing. <laughs> and he had to send for the sergeant to come and let him out. <laughs> so oh. we got up to all kinds of tricks like that. You know. Oh, it, was, it must have been great fun. Was that yeah. all you made? Were they your mates from school, were they? Yeah, yeah. But was that from Holmeswood? Yeah. From Holmeswood School, yeah. Well, later, they all went together when they went to Holmes School, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the, what, was, what, was, what, what was, did you have some best mates at school? Or were you yeah. all just. Or yeah, you? I think so. Yeah. Who was your best mate, you think, did you? <laughs> I don't think I had a particular best mate. No, no, no. And what was the uh, what was the teachers like? There uh, was a was a headmistress. Some grand teachers. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Was it a was it a headmistress or a headmaster? Was it a headmaster? Yeah. Or was it? Yeah. 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 He used to have a cane. He used to give you the cane, you know, <laughs> under the clock. So if you'd done something wrong, you had to go and stand underneath the clock, oh, and he'd keep you waiting there for about an hour, oh. waiting to be punished. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't know if he used to whack you, but they wouldn't allow it today, would they? Oh no! Well, well I remember that. I, I went when we moved up to Wormsgate. I went to what was called the Wigan Road School. You know. Oh, that's where I went to. Because I, I failed the eleven plus. Did you? Yeah. No, I didn't go to the grammar school, like, you know. And the cane was still in then, like you know. Yeah. Mr. Wagstaff and uh, I never got the cane, but I got the slipper. 
Well, C. A. Hunter was the man that. Uh, oh, was he? Yeah. yeah. The headmaster then. Oh, is that at home? Was he at home? Or no, no, at Wigan Road. Oh, Wigan Road and that sort of thing. Yeah. And that did used, the bus used to pick you up and take you there, did it? Yeah. yeah. It still does that now, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that sort of thing. So yeah, that that was that was Homewood Village down there. So was was the main place Rufford? Was that where, where it was all going on? Was it? You know, that was. We wouldn't like you to say that, really. Yeah, it's Rufford and Rufford, amongst the kids, of course. I was going to say. We were all brothers and they were Rufforders. Is it, yeah? Now I'm living in Rufford. Well, that's <laughs> <I'm> a traitor. <laughs> I can see that. I understand that when you read about the books. It was a, it was a totally separate community, yeah, wasn't it? But yeah. now they seem to put them in together, don't oh, they? Oh, yeah, yeah. And that sort of thing. Do you remember uh, Mere Sands Wood? You know the Mere Sands Wood, yeah. which is a nature yeah. reserve now? Yeah. Do you remember what it was before? It was a nature reserve. You used to go around that. You could only you could only get you could only get part way around because it, it was just one massive uh, rhododendron oh, bushes. Oh yeah. Yeah. There was no paths like there are now. Right. But yeah. We used to go a lot there. Sometimes you used to go shooting because you used to have to put uh, the, the dinner on the plate. You know, like in, in pigeons and anything that's going. You know. Was it? Yeah. 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 So but we were. My uncle was the European champion bird, clay bird champion, 1948, may I ask? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Crikey. Yeah. So my uncle Stan yeah. Oh, was it a bit over, was it just overgrown then? It wasn't like, I know they used to extract sand from there, didn't they? But yeah. But that not started then, really? Oh, yeah, I was going through all that, so all that come and go, yeah. Was it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. They used to take it for Pilkingtons and stuff like that, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Irish work, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the uh, the hospital in Rufford? I remember the... Yeah, I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's not many stories about the hospital at Rufford. Is there? Yeah. Yeah, certain people meeting nurses in the middle of the night. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I suppose, I suppose, like for the Rufford lads and the Holmeswood lads, it was like, you know, that was, it was. Must yeah, have been they like, all wanted girlfriends, didn't they? Yeah. It was good fun, like that. It was good, good fun. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. My, my mum was in. I remember my, my mum was in the hospital. Yeah. For a few weeks, and I remember that, and I can remember going into it and looking out onto the gardens and that sort of thing. Yeah. But you never, you never met Lord Haskers, was he not? Was he not round no, then? Mr. Can I just add? My sister was a nurse for quite a long time in oh, in, in, in Rufford Hospital. Oh, was she? she just lives around the corner. She's ninety three, you know. God, yeah, this is, yeah, crikey, yeah. that that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, and that so does, it, yeah. It's a, she's always lived around there, has she? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, she lived at Marlow in Buckinghamshire oh, did she? for some time. Yeah. 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 I think her husband Jerry Rothstone, um, oh. he was a he was a carpenter in that. Yeah. And when she went down to Marlow, yeah. uh, he, he was in that kind of job, you know. Yeah. 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 Did you did you some, did you ever go up to the hospital? You probably had no reason to just go up there. Just when my mum died, uh, uh, yeah. we went to tell Jean and, and, and Jean fetched the doctor and her, oh, was it, yeah. and her nurse down to mum's house, you know. Yeah, yeah. Where, where was the entrance to the hospital? Was it was it, how did you get into it? Was it down Holmeswood Road, really? As far as I can gather, it's, just, it's never changed. Yeah. I, I might be wrong. Yeah, I think that's so. right, yeah. So down, moving down to Rufford, down the way down there, I mean, I've only been in Rufford for a couple of years. Do you remember the, uh, any of the shops in Rufford, do you, in the, uh, where the post office was? was? For a long time, there was always the, the butcher's, uh, was it? butcher's shop there, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And like, was there a post office as well down there in Rufford? It was a little post office where the chemist. It's funny, I can't remember a post office. Yeah, yeah. And uh, would you? Someone said, told me there used to be a fish and chip shop there. Yeah, there was. Uh, where the garage is. Is it? Yeah, that's going back some while. Yeah, yeah. Crikey. Yeah. And that, uh, yeah, that's so. That might have been the same family had the chippy, wasn't it? You know. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah. Yeah. You don't ever remember the. Uh, it was a cafe call. Was it? Was it called the Oasis? Was it? Yeah, it was. I remember that. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, because I worked at Southwest Transport when I came out of the army. I just went working for Trans uh, Southwest Transport. Yeah. 
you know, I didn't have a class one, or, well, you didn't need class one then, but I didn't have a driving license then. Yeah. She'd just come away from Germany and that, and, yeah. and uh, I'd never uh, passed anything. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I was second man to, to my brother. Yeah. And we had an eight wheeler and trailer, carrying flour and everything. Yeah. And when we were loading, I always, I used to sort of, he used to carry everything on his shoulder. And he used to put things down like that, and he always had Abby to put his hand. And of course, I was putting the second row on. Mm. And every uh, every minute, five minutes, I was standing on his hand. Uh, he was telling <laughs> me for standing on his. I said, "Well, don't put your hand in them." <laughs> <laughs> standing oh. on his hand, we one and a quarter yeah. bag of flour on his shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, crikey! Yeah. And how were you loading his hand? Was it was it by hand? Was it? Oh, all by hand. Yeah. 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 Well, you must have been quite fit. Then, oh, it? yeah, brilliant. Yeah, good muscles and that, yeah? Yeah. I remember Spiller's, Spiller's men were watching his log one day and he, he came and said, you know, both of you two will be dead before when you're in your 50s, the way you were. Yeah. And, and I don't know where he is now, but then too he was talking about her in their 80s and early 90s, you know. <laughs> so it didn't do us any harm, I don't think. Did you ever go to Ainscoe Mill down there? Did you ever? Yeah, but Ainscoe's Mill, it wasn't somewhere south which we used to load out of, didn't it? They had their own beers. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But from. Yeah. You'd go in there and use their Weybridge and things like that, you know. Right, yeah. There used to be a Weybridge in Rufford, wasn't there? Yeah, the coal, the coal. When the railway was going, you know, the, yeah. the coal yard was there. Yeah. The way we was outside the coal yeah. Yeah, that now is the Fettler's um, mm. Marina. Cause you can, That's it, yeah. Isn't it? You can see it there. Oh, can you? Yeah, you can see the uh, the level where they yeah. must, must have opened the doors yeah. and that sort of yeah. stuff, you know. Because there was a steam train going through Rufford then, wasn't there? Yeah. It must have been quite... quite I, rem I remember Harry Ball was a lettuce grower and he had, and he had quite a lot of us all working for yeah. and growing lettuce and they used to put them in wooden boxes yeah. you know like with 24 lettuce in a box or whatever but they used to take them to Rufford railway station and load them into a van, a railway van was it, yeah. and they'd be at Glasgow uh, Market first thing in the morning you know. yeah. Yeah. Crikey. I always remember going because they let us ride with them we wouldn't be so old then yeah. Yeah. I think the where the, there's the marinas there now in Rufford you've got the two yeah. marinas well, one of them must have been um, a dairy farm, wasn't it? One of the buildings. Yeah, was it Fian's farm, was it? Was it? Might have been. Yeah. Uh, I might be wrong with that, but, but yeah, it was a farm there. Because someone told a sweet me... That, and a girl, when we were going to Orange Street School, she lived there. Yeah. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> but someone said that they used to take the cows down the canal path. Yeah. And that, you know. Yeah. Before it was a... Uh, before it was done up and up. Do you remember the firmer arms day as well? Oh yeah. Was it? That must have been. Yeah, my brother kept it going, I think. <laughs> was it? <laughs> <laughs> I believe there's someone someone told me they used to make good chicken butties there, uh, you know. Yeah, anything. He used to sort of like to give you stuff with loads of salt on. Oh, so you can drink more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you drink more, it's true that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told that story. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They used to make chicken butties, but they used to load it oh, up with salt. salt. Yeah. <laughs> and, <that's laughs> and all that. Yeah, so and so you said you're a you're a wagon driver and you, you had your own uh, you had your own wagon business, didn't you? Yeah. And that sort of thing. So was that was that based in Rufford, was it, yeah? Well, yeah, I was based at Ormswood where where I lived, you know. Yeah. But mainly uh, like I was in fresh back produce, I, we used their yard because yeah. we transported their stuff from the yard. Yeah. There. Then we moved to, uh, to West Cumberland Farmers and did the transport there. Right. And we used to left the vehicles running from their yard. So didn't. That's the kind of using other people's yard. You know? Yeah. Yeah. What was a transport company called? He just called George Rimmer. Like they George that. Rimmer. Yeah. And how, how many drivers did you say you had? It's a difficult one because it ver transport varies so much, yeah. you know. But I would say that sometimes, sometimes fifteen, sometimes twenty, was it, yeah. sometimes thirty when you're busy, you know. And like you were, you were taking prod. Was it mainly produce, or was it was it 
what, what, what were you transporting, really? What was it? A mixture of stuff, was it really? Yeah, all, all kinds of stuff. Was it? Yeah. It depends when you mean. Yeah. So you were taking it. When when David Gibbons used to grow all the stuff and, and fetch it in on tractors to the packages right. station. Yeah. And then we'd have the trailers packed on the loading bays, right. loading them up for various places. Yeah. Yeah. So you're based in Rufford, but you went. You went abroad as well, not just in this country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We did Spain quite a lot. We, 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 we've done all kinds of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We went to. Um, I can't remember. You know the war. There's a war going on anyway. We had we took some yeah. loads of supplies, but we could only drop the come into the port yeah. and drop the load onto the quay because right. they yeah. wouldn't let you go any further yeah. into yeah. the war zone, you know. So did you, did you sometimes, if was that like a, did the drivers like to go to Spain, did they because they'd come back with a bit of a suntan and <laughs> stuff like that? <laughs> they hadn't time to have suntan. <laughs> so you were just there and back where you, you couldn't stay over, yeah. pretty much, yeah. Well, we, we we never let them come back empty, you know, we always reloaded. Was it, yeah? We got, got to know a lot of people yeah. in Spain and, well, anywhere, Italy or... Uh, anywhere. Was it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It must have been quite a long drive out there, wasn't it? Because yeah, it was a week. You, you, you set off on a Sunday yeah. and you come back like Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. Well, I think that, that, that's a great insight there, George, yeah. into into what happened with the air crash yeah and what and a little bit of a insight into what about yeah. old homes would and yeah and rougher than that sort of yeah. stuff but yeah. uh, you know myself and mike would like to mm. thank you for that you know it's very thank much me. goodness me it's me that wants to thank you for what you've done <laughs> for me because i'm really interested in air crashes as you can tell well, yeah. like having a book to read and, and photographs yeah yeah you know. it's uh well if i hadn't a met you in the woods at Rufford like you know yeah. with the dogs I'd never known that you would have been the first ones out there you know yeah. on that yeah. uh, so uh, you hear lots of people saying I was there first I was there yeah. first I have to smile sometimes when they're saying that you yeah. Know? yeah I didn't see you there <laughs> <laughs> you're right yeah that's right it's it's uh and of course you know when we have this ceremony on the 2nd of October when we're going to dedicate the uh, the plaque, because the vicar will be there, you know, yeah. from the church, and we're inviting the vicar from Holmeswood, All right. because they were they were probably involved in, yeah. in Holmeswood, and we'll be having a proper little ceremony, yeah. and there'll be an exhibition on. Mike and I are going to put an exhibition on. We'll have the mo big model of the Firefly will be out. Good, good. Um, we'll, hopefully, we'll get a Royal Navy officer down there. There'll be sea cadets. Everyone will be invited. And we're looking to get a fly past the aircraft in memory of the uh, the two and that, yeah. and it'll always be there, you know. Yeah. I didn't know you yeah, scarred off from Sunday school. I'll, I'll turn out to be a rebel. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be barred from home. Yeah, no, Scarred off school, pinched her by. <laughs>